Hello YouTube, welcome to vlog 125. I am the audiophile barista and in these vlogs I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keep me busy. It's been a while so let's dive into it and the first thing I want to show you are these two chairs that I bought and let's talk about these. For those of you who are new for the channel, here's a quick overview of my system. These are the Oscilla broadband loudspeakers, 98 dBs. There is of course a RHEL subwoofer in the system. Over here you see the Zen music server, a clear audio turntable, an audio lab CD transport, an Oppo Blu-ray CD anything player. A PS Audio power regenerator, a Blue Sound streamer, then a Frips DA converter, the wonderful Ear Yoshino 864 preamplifier, and the latest addition, a 300B Audion Silver Knight power amplifier. And the rest of the things that you see in the system is just because I'm an audiophile, I have a lot of stuff. Some of it is for sale now or is being replaced or whatever. A PS Audio DA converter. Over here we have an AudioNote integrated amplifier. Over here we have an isolation transformer. Some LIN equipment. A nice Riga set. Over here, the wonderful Noicom set. And that is the system, so let's get some coffee and move on with the vlog. Okay, let's turn the system on. Okay, everything's turned on. I want to talk about the Audion, but I also have been making some changes to the Ear Yoshino preamp. This is a little bit older footage, but here's a little montage. The Ear Yoshino preamp comes with five tubes, three for the phono stage and two for the preamp stage. In an attempt to do some tube rolling, I recently changed four of the five tubes, three for the phono stage and one for the preamp stage. All four are of the ECC83 type and I went with tubes from JJ Electronics. These are well recommended and very affordable. A good place to start. Now changing the tubes was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was open the amp, remove the old tubes and put in the new ones. Job done. Now for those of you who follow my channel, you might remember that I also changed the fifth tube recently. I got hold of a gold lion tube and when I put it in I was so amazed with the sound that I decided to also change the other tube in the preamp section for a gold lion. And I may get me three more gold lions for the phono stage also at some point. But now we have left the inexpensive area, so that is for a later date. Okay, so I hope you like that little montage. The system has become much more quiet now that I changed the tubes in the preamp section. And this means the old 
tube you are just giving too much noise now it's very quiet and when i also turn on the audio it is still very very quiet so moving on to this wonderful piece of equipment which is the Audion Silver Knight limited edition 20th anniversary version as you can see over here I've shown it in a few videos now I've not told you about the sound quality I am very happy with it but I'm also still deciding what it is that I think of it and why is that well in order to if you change something and you want to know if it is better or not you have to do a listening session and the last month it was just too hot in this room to take time and have a comfortable listening session so this is going very very slow but this is a great amplifier. This is probably going to stay. There's a few things that I want to try out. That's one of the reasons why this is over here. This is one of the plates that I, of course, have over here under the turntable on top of the big rack. And the reason I have this is because I am still trying to find out if I want that one somewhere in the middle. Now it can't go in there because this thing is pretty high actually. So the top of the tubes will be almost touching the top of the rack. On top of it would be a logical position but well, the thing is that when I have guests, it's very nice to have that space to place guests over there. So if this thing is in the middle, that's going to be less convenient. So I was trying maybe put it in front of it. So this is just a test setup. And after this video, I'm going to change that one from there to there. Because here's the deal. Let me put this oh let me put this light over here. Here's the deal. I would like to have the turntable and the preamp close together. I also would like to have the preamp and the power amp together. I want to have the turntable on top. So there's only one way where the preamp goes and that is somewhere over here. Now this means that I need a little bit of a longer cable towards this one and what I'm going to try out over here also has another benefit because if I put it over here I need longer a long loudspeaker cable I have that but as you can see over here it's running over this rack to the loudspeaker because it just reaches so that's one reason why i would try to find a spot somewhere in the middle and have shorter loudspeaker cables well talking about loudspeaker cables i you have seen in many of my videos that i had the oyaide this is the white loudspeaker cable that you see here or the big red one that i had from van den hul but it turned out that i was playing much more often with the oyaide cable so I sold the other one and now I have this one and the Van der Hoel cable was even shorter so I could not even place the preamp, the power amp over there. And yes, it has a volume knob but it also says on the manual this is a power amp. So what about sound? Well, this thing, one of the things that really stands out is this thing is smooth as can be. No sibilance anymore. Some things that, um, some music that I had that had some sharp S's, for example, that is now gone. It's much more smooth. The sound stage is really very wide, very nice. But the biggest thing I would say about it is the authority. It plays with much more confidence. It has much more control over the sound than the previous things that I had. Now, I mean, not the ITOS. The ITOS had complete control over my system. 
may have been a bit more bright even than this one. The Aitos also had a little bit better bass control, but well, there's a trick for that. So here's my Ocelia loudspeaker. And the trick is that previously, when I had a amplifier that had a little less bass, if I put the loudspeaker more back, the bass will start to play up a little bit. So I had that, that's why you have the little pieces of tape on the floor. That is where the speaker was standing. And now I've been placing it more and more forward to lose a little bit of the bass enforcement from this corner and have it a better match to the power amplifier over here. So to finish off, now that the temperature in the room is much better than it was before, I am now able to go and tweak the system, trying it out over here. And in one or two weeks, I will give you the results. So that is all that I have for today. Well, except for one thing. I showed you these chairs. These are, as I told you, from 1930, 1940. I got two of them in a wonderful deal. And this would actually be a very nice listening chair. But the reason I got these is because the two white chairs that I had, they were okay. They were where the seating area is, they were a bit higher, which means that this beam was much more in my eyesight. So this is much better. I really love the way that this thing is constructed and it feels like it's floating. And because it is just one continuous loop, it also has a bit of a wobble, meaning it is very comfortable when you sit in it, not too hard. And when I'm sitting over here, watching outside, having a great cup of coffee and some wonderful music on, this is really, really a very nice place to sit. So that is something that I'm going to do as soon as I finish this vlog. It is raining at the moment in Rotterdam. It has been cooling down for the last few days. So I'm perfectly happy because it really was too, too hot in this room to do any of the videoing or whatever. So thank you for watching. It is Friday, so I say have a nice weekend and I'll see you in the next one.